Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to go behind the scenes with your favorite artist. When I say favorite artist, I mean your favorite artist from BTS, who is Jeon John Cook. Okay, who was born September 1st, 1997, which makes him a whopping 23 years old. Okay, so we're going to call him JK. We're going to give some behind the scenes on JK and see what's his true personality is like behind the scenes. And maybe the divine can give us some tea, you know, some lovely tea on Mr. John Cook. Okay, so let's jump straight in. Divine Angels, can you give me the best cards from this deck to describe the true personality of Gion John Cook? Thank you. Gion John Cook. Okay. Of course, Gion John Cook is definitely going to show up as an artist, right? He is an artist. Speaks of expressing a dimension of life that is just beyond the five senses, inspiring others to see life symbolically. Shadow attribute speaks of using talent as an excuse to mistreat others, posing as a starving artist to ex explicit pity. Okay, let's see what else we have here for Gion. Okay, we also have the Virgin card that popped out. It speaks of maintaining symbolic purity of the heart and spirit, um, but he also may have a fear of intimate union. Okay, let's see what else do we have here for Gion. We also have. The Liberator card, okay, Liberator. It speaks of freeing yourself and others from outmoded beliefs, releasing negative thoughts, patterns. Shadow attribute speaks of imposing your own training over those you claim to liberate, ignoring legitimate constraints. Okay, let's see what those cards are about. So he's showing up as the artist, virgin, and a liberator. Okay, so from what I'm seeing just off top, okay, it's like he has a love for the art, okay, he's a true artist, he loves performing, he loves giving himself to the stage, okay, he's a true artist that, and he, and he really loves creating, okay, and he has a very pure and, um, pure heart and a pure spirit, okay, may have a little int intimacy problem connecting with, um, people on a higher level, maybe. Okay, and he's a liberator. Okay, freeing yourself and others from outbound, from outmoded beliefs, releasing negative thought patterns. Okay, so it's like he's all he's always evolving. You know, um, freeing himself from anything that's no longer serving his higher good. That's what I see initially. Let's break these cards down a little bit. Okay, divine, what can you give us about this artist card for John Cook? All right, trust. You see how this person is. Falling through the sky, just free falling. Has a lot of trust in the divine. He has a lot of trust and when it comes to his artistry, okay, and being an artist. Okay, he trusts that he is he is doing what he's here to do. Okay, he's, it's like he's doing his life pur purpose. He's using his talents, okay, in a positive way. And he trusts that he's doing the right thing. He, he really is, okay. Let's see, can we find out more about this artist part here for Gion? That she tells about this artist, okay. Experiencing, okay. Now this card right here, okay, says a lot. Okay, it's like he experiencing the the world in a whole new light, almost like speaking of this virgin card. Because as you can see, this person is covered by a lot of passion, a lot of fire, um, a lot of colors. But then within his coat, it's a white, it's a white lining that speaks of his. Experience his um purity um you know him especially him being young okay he it's like he going through this and experiencing this this um artist being an artist he's going through this journey and he's trusting the journey okay it's like he's trusting it with all his heart okay he's he he really believes in what he's doing okay so it's like as the years go by as an artist it's like he experiencing this um being a young artist he's He's like so innocent, but yet enjoying the ride. It's like enjoying, you know, falling into this, enjoying and trusting it. He has a lot of trust in what he's doing. Okay, and he knows a lot of people trust in him. So he's having a really great experience when it comes to being an artist, expressing himself, and he's using all five senses to do so. And he, he loves the fact that he inspired other people. Okay. 
Look at this one. I'm more about this virgin card. Why is the virgin card here for John Cook? Okay. We have the stress card here. Okay. You see this person performing, juggling, blowing a horn, playing music. Okay. All while bouncing on this bubble here. And then it's like this person, this little, um, uh, it lo looks like a little monkey about to pop the balloon that he's bouncing on. Okay. So it's a lot of stress. It's like everything's going to come to a head here for him. And he's trying to maintain his heart and, and spirit in his purest way. Okay. But he has some fears here that's causing stress. Okay. Maybe a fear of intimate union like this card speaks of. Let's see. Can we put more about this virgin card here? Virgin card. Okay. Mm -mm. Postponement. Okay. Postponing. He's postponing something here. It's like there's something that's stopping him from moving forward. It's like he's looking at things and he's seeing things, you know, fully. He's seeing things not as full as he's. It's like he's used to seeing things black and white. Okay. But he's starting to see things, you know, with a little more color. He's trying to see things, you know, in its truest form. And I don't know if he's stopping himself from seeing certain things. Okay, especially when it comes to the stress, okay, and, and the fear of intimate union, the fear of connecting. And it's like he's trying to maintain his his um, purity, you know, he, he wants to maintain that, at least the, sim the symbol of it. But it's like there's some stress here because he's juggling a lot, maybe trying to please a lot of people here. Okay, let's find out more about this Liberator card. Why is the Liberator card here for John Cook? Why is the Liberator card here for John Cook? Okay. We have Participation here. Okay, Participation. Releasing himself from any negative thought patterns. It's like he's, he's very active in doing that. Okay, he's trying to liberate himself in the fullest. He may be ignoring some things, okay, but he's trying to release his thought patterns, okay, and he's fully participating in doing that. He, he really wants to liberate himself. Maybe he wants to liberate himself from this, um, this symbolic, this symbolic purity that the world puts on him. I'm seeing that a little bit here, okay. Oh, there we go. With the rebel card, yeah, it's like, you know, he wants to maintain, you know, he wants you guys to constantly see him in a good light. But it's a part of him. He wants to liberate himself from that. Okay. He wants to really. It's like he's. With this rebel card. It's like. He kind of want to set some fires. He want to break loose of any chains that. Chain that's. Um, that, that's been put on him. As this so-called. Goody two-shoe. Okay. Or this. Or this virgin. It's like y'all see him as a virgin. Like so pure. So sweet. So. Loving. He's 23 years old. You know what guys go through or anybody goes through at a young age to find themselves into manhood. To go transition from being a child, okay, a teenager, to a young man, to be a full grown man. It's a process in between that. Sometimes that process is not always pretty to other people. But it's a process that each individual has to go through. So it's almost like he's having stress of trying to maintain this pure, this purity that people see him as. It's like it's, it's straining him. And it's some stress to it. And it's like he wants to liberate himself from that. From what you guys see in him. And he wants to participate. Not just be a rebel and troublemaker. But he wants to be his own rebel. He wants to go through his own trials and errors. Okay. And he wants. And he don't want to be afraid to do so. And the public eye. He don't want you guys to look at him in a negative way. Okay. He don't want to be seen as his virgin either. Okay. Because it's causing him some stress. It's hard to maintain. So he's. it's like he's. Fully participating and liberating himself from that image that's being put on him. Okay. He's a young man. At 23, you go through that. Okay, I'm not a young man, but I do know the process that men go through, that young people go through to become a man. Okay. And 
23, 25, they go through their little stages. It's not just a teenage stage they go through because I'm sure at a teenage, he was um, performing and doing the most. But to you know to be an artist and now he wants to find himself his true self okay and he may be coming across as a rebel to some people but that's just him being finding his authentic self okay let's find out a little bit more about what's going on here with mr john Cook. okay and he's trusting it and he's going through the whole full experience so let's find out more about this experiencing card why is it here why is the experiencing card here for john Cook? We have purpose, okay? So, as an artist, he like I said, he he has a purpose here. He's he's feel like he's working fully in his purpose. It's I know what I am here to do, and he knows this. He knows what his purpose is, and he's going through it. As a as an artist, he's trusting that he's doing everything that he he's put here to do. Okay, he's excited about that. Okay, and he's experiencing that in the fullest. Okay, because he knows he has a solid purpose here, and his purpose card is in purple. Okay, so it's definitely divine purpose. Okay, why is the stress card here for John Cook? Why is the stress card here? What can you tell us about the stress card? Okay, what about postponement? Why is the postponement card here? Okay, discipline. Okay, still purple. It says, I can accomplish what I set my mind to. He can. He got a purpose. And he set his mind to it. Okay. He may be postponing a little bit. He may be fighting back, pulling back a little, a little pull and, and, and pull, push and pull type of thing going here. Okay. He's trying to go from being this, this virgin, this, this pure person that you got to see. Okay. It's, he, there's some stress going on here. Okay. That when he, he looks out in the world, he sees the world differently. Okay, but when it comes to discipline, he does have discipline and he can accomplish what he set his mind to, what he set his mind to, not what the world sets their mind to for him. He's, he's disciplined enough to do what he set his mind to. Okay, that's what he's focused on. And it's like a little fight here because like I said, the little monkey about to pop this bu bubble right here that he's standing on and balancing on that's causing him stress. And I don't think the little monkey is doing it to be mean. The little monkey is trying to release some of this stress. Like, baby, you don't have to balance yourself on this little balloon, this little ball. It's a whole world that you can stand on that's here for you to stand on. You don't have to balance and stress yourself out trying to do all of that to please, okay, the outside world, okay. You, we have a, found, a solid foundation that you can stand on, okay. So he's trying to be disciplined and do what's best for him, okay. Let's find out the participation card. Why is the participation card here? For John Cook. Mm, okay, the rebel. You think it tells about the rebel card? For John Cook. Okay. Grief. Okay, now the card has turned from purple to orange now. Grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Okay, so he's, with the rebel card, it's like he's looking at, you know, it's like he's out there, he's a young man, he wants to go out there and experience the world, okay? But he having some grief of losing something, okay? Losing, maybe losing fans, losing love, losing the purity that, that has been put upon him. But he do understand that if he lose something, it's just an opportunity to appreciate it more. It's an opportunity to be, for him to grow from this, okay? So he's not really losing it, he's growing from it, okay? Alright, so let's pull out this deck. We can dig in a little deeper here. Okay, let's find out more about this stress card. Let's see if we can find out more about this stress card for John Cook. Why is the stress card here in JK's reading? Self Worth. Got the Self Worth card here. It speaks of love what you see. Love what you see. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of stress here. Uh, trying to back going back to this virgin card, trying to be this pure uh, person that you guys see or you appreciate, and that you uh, love. You see him as being so innocent and so sweet, and he is. He is at his heart is that he does have a purity heart and a spirit, but it's like he's trying to find his worth in the world. 
And whatever he decides to do with himself, he wants you guys to love what you see. Okay? And he wants to love what he see as well. He don't want to be stressed out trying to please um, millions of people. Okay? But at the same time, losing himself, that's no fun. Okay? He wants to find himself and do what he feels like he needs to do for him. And then that you guys will appreciate it and love what you see. That way it won't cause so much stress for him. Okay? Let's find out more about this participation card. Why is the participation card here? All right. Arrogance. Get off your pedestal. Okay. He's trying to liberate himself. <laughs> okay. Maybe a little arrogance going on here. It's like, that's why he's showing up at this rebel. It's like, sure. Okay. You can complain about one tattoo. How about I give him a, 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 10 more tattoos? Okay. And he's participating in this, okay? And it may come across as you guys as being maybe arrogant, maybe come across as him being a rebel, but he's finding himself. He's trying to find himself and he's trying to liberate himself from any misconceptions of him. Okay? Understand that he's a human being and human beings grow. Human beings change. Okay? And in the process of growing and changing, okay, he wants, you know... It's like, get off your pedestal. It's like, take him. He, it's like he almost wants to be taken off the pedestal. Like, don't put him up here and hold him to this highest regard, okay? When his heart and spirit is still the same, but he, he wants to, you know, experience the world. He wants to liberate himself from any misconceptions that people have put on him, okay? What can you tell us about this arrogance card? How's the arrogance card here for JK? He wants to live in his bliss. He wants to do what makes him happy. Live in his truth. Okay? Point blank period. Okay? He's living in his truth. Regardless of whatever pedestal you guys put him on or what pedestal you think that he should be on. He's going to live in his truth. His truth bliss. What makes him truly happy. Why well, is the grief card here? For John Cook. Okay? It speaks of know your truth. Not only is you going to live in your bliss, but also know the truth of you living in it. Okay? No. You know, because he has grief because he's trying to understand himself. He's trying to grow. Okay? Uh, he don't want to be seen as a rebel, but you may, you may see him as that because he's trying to find his truth and know his truth so he can live in it. Period. Okay? Let's see here. We have the discipline card here. Why is the discipline card here? Okay. Self worth. What can we know about the self worth here? Okay. Purpose. Anything you guys got this purpose card here? All right. Release toxic relationships. Okay? Release anything that's not no longer serving your higher good. Release any relationship that's holding you back. Release all toxic relationships. Okay? Period. Who needs them? Okay, they're toxic. They're not helping you. They're not helping you grow. If anything, they're holding you back. Okay? And you don't want to be held back anymore. At all. What should we know about this release toxic relationship for JK? Why is the release toxic relationship? Okay. Okay, we've got the hermit. We've got a couple cards here. We got the hermit, okay? And go in solitude and find himself so he can know his truth, okay? Time spent in peaceful meditation and meaningful solitude. Shine your light as an example to others. Seek out or become a spiritual mentor. Self discipline, okay? Failing to recognize a magical opportunity. Missing the point. The distraction of daily life. Discontentment or boredom, okay? He may be discontent and bored with what's going on in his life, okay? He got to make a choice, okay? He, to release this toxic relationship, he got to make a choice. All these decisions are not good for him, okay? Only a few are good for him. He needs to stop procrastinating and overanalyzing the situation. It's time, to, um, it's time to make a choice, okay? Get clarity on what you desire and move forward because you have too many options, maybe addictions that's going on here.
okay? But, you, but you're brilliant and you're talented and independent, controlling. There is nothing that you can't do. Believe in yourself, okay? It says, never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true. The need for balance between career and personal life, okay? You see, this struggling, struggling over here, stressful, trying to juggle, trying to please. Love and compassion, psychic self-sacrificing, deep psychic insights, caring for others, for, but forgetting to take care of yourself. Mm. Trust your intuition, a deep love of family and friends, and follow your heart. So yeah, to release this toxic relationship, he needs to go and, and, and go into himself and meditate so he can know his truth, so he can live in his bliss, okay? He got to make a choice because he got a lot of options here, okay? Stop trying to please other people. Okay, because you can't please everybody. You can't make everybody happy. You can only make yourself happy. And if people are not happy when you make your final decision, then you need to release them because they're toxic. Period. Okay, because you're going to be, um, you fail to see it, recognize a, a magical opportunity and you're missing the point. Because you're so distracted in your daily life, discontentment or even bored. That's why he's probably showing up as a rebels. Rebels are never bored. They always find something to get into. Okay. So, there's some stress that he's dealing with. Which he needs to release some toxic relationships that's no longer serving him. Figure out his self-worth so that he can live in his truth. Okay. And let's see. Let's pull some divine cards here. For JK. What advice do we need to give JK? Concerning his behind the scenes, divine angel, he's okay. living his truth to know his bliss. Is there anything you can tell him from this day? JK is always re evolving, and all his readings are so interesting to me. He just needs to release any toxic relationship that he's holding on to. He keep on holding on to him for some reason. Okay, there's a sacrifice that he needs to make. Okay, something sometimes surrender is painful, and that's why he's having so much grief here and he's having a hard time to release this toxic relationship because sometimes surrender is painful. God's cutting away all that needs to go illusions, obsession, addictions. It's a time, it's a sacrifice to love, to find true love. What type of love? The love that, that will give you your self worth. Okay. Love what you see. Okay, so he has some sacrifices that he needs to make. Some tough sacrifices. Make some choices. And it's hard for him to do so. It's painful. Okay? He, he's always going through this painful sacrifice. He's, so, he's growing so much. Okay, all his reasons are pretty much almost all the same. You know, but they're evolving. They're showing a different side of him. Okay? But, he's, but he, is, he does need to sacrifice. So that he can find true love. Is there anything else we can tell JK from this from this set? Okay. Allowing. Okay, he needs to allow this uh, evolution to happen in his life. Radical acceptance says yes to reality in any given moment. So what's needed can come to you next. Okay. You need to allow it to happen. Allow this to happen. Okay, I know it's hard and it's painful, but it's time to release anything that's toxic, that no, that's no longer serving your higher good, so that you can live in your bliss, and no, live in your true bliss, your truth, know your truth, but you got to let go of some things so that you can know what your truth is, okay? So he may have to go through a rebellion stage, okay, because he's caught between being his virgin and being a rebel, okay, and he's trying to liberate himself from... from he don't want to be the virgin, he don't want to be the rebel, he, he wants to meet someone in the middle. Okay, he's trying to liberate himself and find what his truth is, okay? But the balloon's going to pop soon. Whether he like it or not, he's going to have to um, sacrifice. There's some sacrifices that he needs to make. He don't want to make those sacrifices. He don't want to make those changes. He's trying to hold on to something here. But it's time to release it and allow it to happen. So that concludes the reading for J.K. I hope you enjoyed that behind the scenes for John Cook. He always gives the most interesting reading. I love J.K. I see why you guys love him as well. Okay, so if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Also, um, make sure you subscribe to the channel, okay, so that you can catch all my hot videos, right? Right? Okay, well, that concludes the reading. I'll talk to you guys later.